I've gone through this before, but I'll try to go through it with a little more detail. Um, after you map, at the bottom left here, you'll have the two paper and pencil. Um, click on that. This will bring you to multi-floor mapping. At this point, over to the right of map, uh, you'll have a little disk icon. You click on that to save your map. Um, then at that point, up above, it'll show you save maps. At this point, you click on that map. This will bring you to the next menu. On this menu, you have virtual boundaries, edit area, label areas, and delete, and Wi-Fi. Um, virtual boundaries, very basic. You have square virtual boundaries where you can set up your boundaries for your vacuum. Press check to confirm or X to delete. You also have lined, works the same way. And you have no mop zones, which this just affects for the mop. Then going over to edit areas. Uh, basically here you can merge and divide areas. Merge areas, you select the two areas that you want to merge. Click the, at the very bottom, you have this little merge icon. Click that and it'll make it into one room. Divide areas, you select the one room you want to divide. Down here at the very bottom, it gives you this little icon. Click on that, that will give you this line. At that point, you set the line where you want to divide the room, then select on the check mark. And that will divide the room. Label area is pretty straightforward. Click the room you want to label. It gives you this limited list, but uh, and also it doesn't label it with the name and actually not labels it with just the icon. So you pick the label you want to use. As you can see, it just puts the living room icon there. And then you have delete the delete your map. You want to be careful with that. This is kind of neat right here. This shows your Wi-Fi coverage. If you have a problem with your vacuum not working in a certain area, you can check here to make sure you have Wi-Fi coverage in that area. Now I want to go over some improvements they've made since the 950 model. Uh, down here at the bottom left, you have cleaning purposes. Before on the 950 model, you had quiet mode, standard mode, max mode, max plus mode, and you set it, and it did was like that for every room. Now you have clean preferences. You have the same option with quiet mode, standard mode, except now they're icons instead of wording. But and then you have the one and two, just like you did on the 950, and then the water level. But you have an option here if you click on cleaning preferences that allows you to make that adjustment for each room individually each room can have its own speed the number of times you go over it its own water level so you don't have to it gives you a lot more flexibility also you have clean sequence that allows you to set what direction you want your vacuum to go during a cleaning cycle. If it's a scheduled cleaning cycle, auto cleaning cycle, whatever. That's just a couple improvements they made since the 950, which greatly enhances your cleaning options. I'm going to go a little more into scheduling. Now, sketching, if you have two maps, of course, the, the one the vacuum is recognized as your active map is the only one the schedule is going to work for. You have two different types of schedules. You have auto cleaning or area cleaning. Auto cleaning is just going to clean everything it has access to. Area cleaning, you're actually able, able to select which rooms you want to vacuum. 
you set your time, what days, how often you want it, and that's pretty much it. Okay, let's go over multi-floor mapping. First, move the docking station, also known as the charging station, to the second floor to create the second floor map. Once mapping is complete, save that map using the disk icon just like you did on the first map. At that point, after you move the vacuum from one floor to the other, the vacuum should recognize the location and give you the proper floor plan. When moving the vacuum upstairs, it is recommended you move the docking station with it, which can be inconvenient if all you have is an auto empty station. You have two other choices to consider. You can purchase another docking station to leave on the second floor, which is recommended, or you can actually move it without the docking station. Uh, if you choose to take this route, I recommend you place the vacuum at the same location each time so you know it will be able to locate itself. Also, without a docking station, when the vacuum job is complete, the vacuum will look around for the docking station for 10 minutes before it errors out saying it cannot find the dock. That's your choice. Hopefully this will help you get through multi-floor mapping.